Hello everyone, so this uh, ThinkPad USB-C Gen 2 dock is now working perfectly. So I purchased this uh, recently from uh, eBay. And this dock is of course uh, great, wonderful because now all I need to do, I just need to connect this one uh, USB-C cable which uh, was missing, which I didn't receive but I sent a message to the seller on eBay and that guy sent me this uh, cable. So I just received this cable and I connected everything. Now it all works wonderfully well. So I just have uh, uh, this USB-C cable going in my laptop and it is uh, charging my laptop. And right now I'm, I'm running, of course, Arch Linux. I checked everything, it is working fine. And uh, earlier when I tried it with a different cable, I was not really able to get the output, but now I am and uh, this is great. So if I run, uh, let me just try to uh, let me just try to run uh, the terminal first, and I'll show you a few things. So, if so, by the way, everything is working fine because not only the display but also the audio output is now working, which was not really working earlier. So now, uh, if I check in uh, Ultra Mixer, I can see this uh, a new entry called ThinkPad. USB-C Dock 2 Gen 2 and uh, this is great. The only problem is that when I when I open this, there is no like volume control, so I need to figure it out. I'm sure there is there is a way to do it, but uh, anyways, because if if I'm, uh, I mean it would it would be great if I can control the actual uh, volume of the uh, sound that is coming out because right now whenever I have to play music using uh, MPD. Uh, I have a script or basically I use SX, SXHKD to control the volume and it works but uh, not really for the volume of let us say if I'm playing uh, a YouTube video. For, for playing YouTube videos volume or controlling the YouTube videos volume I use uh, the browser's functionality in the browser but not really the sound card. But it is not a massive problem, I'll, I'm sure I'll figure it out. and. Uh, Apart from this, if I just uh, try to, let me just try to enter into the terminal. All right, so this is my terminal window and what I wanted to show you is uh, X render command. And uh, now I have this uh, DP31, which is now getting, dis like it is now getting recognized in my, in my running system. So if I show you the backside of the dock, so this is my dock uh, and everything is now connected to the dock. So starting with this uh, cable which is coming from, I mean this is basically the computer. Uh, basically this USB-C cable is coming from computer. Then the next cable is the power. Then I have these two display ports which I am not really, not really using, like uh, two of them. And then I have uh, my hard disk, my mic and uh, keyboard and monitor, uh, not, key, not not monitor, keyboard and mouse, they are connected using this uh, USB-C, not USB-C, USB hub. And then I also have my hard disk, uh, no, my webcam. So everything is connected. And on the front end side, of course, I do have a few things like uh, I have my mic and I, I do have one extra, I, I think this is the only slot or port which is left. Like in the front, there is one USB-C and uh, all good. So I think uh, if you're looking for, uh, I mean, if you're using ThinkPad P14 or similar uh, ThinkPads that are supported by ThinkPad dock, ThinkPad uh, USB-C dock, Gen 2 dock, then uh, you should uh, take a look at it because it will actually keep things very simple and neat for you because now I mean, great thing is that it is just one cable, like just literally just one cable, which is uh, doing all the magic. And uh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the purchase. And I was actually able to get, I mean, if you go, if you go online, you will, uh, this is not really cheap, by the way. It is actually, uh, I, mean, I mean, right now, if you check on uh, Amazon or maybe on uh, Len Lenovo's website, I think you are looking for something like 250-ish. Uh, in this range, I mean, the thing with Lenovo products are is that you can uh, never be sure about the pricing, so you have to find a good deal. But I was able to find uh, this on eBay, and I paid fifty eight pounds, so really cheap. And it is, it is actually, I mean, I think it's new, or almost new. 
if not if, uh, this is actually in pristine condition and I can't really find uh, any fault or any scratch with this it looks new uh, but of course it is I guess it is used uh, and that is why it was on eBay but all good now I'm, I'm quite quite happy with my setup so this is my setup yep this is not really uh, I mean I, to be honest I do miss the you know base but uh, I'm sure there is some kind of a base that comes with or that, that actually supports T14. I'm not really sure. But there is something about the base, you know, the uh, platform where you can just, you know, place your laptop. Uh, and it, it is, m maybe it's a, it's a bit more, uh, uh, because th there is a lot happening because when you have the ultra base, you have the lever that you can pull and it will let, it, it will let you lift the laptop. It feels good. But I, I guess in 2023, uh, USB-C is probably much more convenient, so I'm 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 happy. I'm happy with my purchase and uh, this new setup of mine. So all good, all good now. And uh, I was using this uh, this thing, this uh, USB-C adapter, whatever it is called. And uh, this was earlier used with my Mac, but uh, I, I don't really have any use of it use for it now. Anyways. So uh, this is all good, and this came with the charger, by the way. So that is also great because I don't, I, I won't be using my laptop charger now. I'll probably keep my laptop charger in my bag. In fact, I have uh, X390, so I just need like one charger because, uh, by the way, this will also work with uh, uh, this. This also works with X390, or I guess any uh, any laptop with Thunderbolt support. I, I'm not exactly sure about the compatibility, but this works with X390 as well. Uh, and also T14. All right, that is it. That is it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.